Hi, my name is Tony Azevedo. I am 34 years old. I am uh, an attacker from Long Beach, California. I started water polo when I was eight years old. My father was a coach for the U.S. Olympic team and the junior team, and uh, I just kind of traveled with him as a carpool buddy for a while and eventually just fell in love with the sport. I love the fact that water polo is a team sport. It's not an individual sport. So, you know, it's not just about yourself. It's about the team. But I love the fact that it's the toughest sport in the world. I mean, I think we're the we're the biggest of badasses in the Olympics and uh, of really all sports around. Favorite type of music? Um, God, you know, I'm one that, that loves really all kinds, and these guys on the team are teaching me all the young stuff. They, they, they're, they love Taylor Swift, so now I'm learning about Taylor Swift and, and uh, all these, these hip-hop or these, these whatever you call them, teeny bop girls. But um, I would say that Pearl Jam's one of my favorite artists. You know, at one point my father you know, pulled me aside when it was an issue where, if, you know, when I first started out with the national team, there was a problem with me. If I didn't score at the beginning, it would kind of get in my head because I was used to scoring. And uh, it kind of just, just told me, you know, the best players in the world are the ones that actually make other players great. And it's not, you can never win individually. It's, you have to win as a team. And I really took that to heart. For me, when it's games that we're up by a lot, you know, it's hard for me to play, but it's a close game where I want to make my teammate better and the whole team better that I take pride in. I have to say my favorite Olympic memory is us beating Serbia in the semifinals to get to the uh, gold medal game. I mean, we probably hadn't beat Serbia ever, or at least over those eight, nine years, maybe once out of 50 times, and really having that miracle game in the semifinals to get to the gold medal game, uh, I, I don't think anything's going to be a better feeling. My perfect off day, hopefully my wife allows me to sleep in to around 8 o'clock, 8.30 and then uh, wake up, have a nice cup of coffee, same thing, read the newspaper if possible, and then spend about two, three hours with my kid, hopefully playing on the beach or swimming in the water or, or doing something fun like that. And then around one, two o'clock, bringing over a bunch of friends and either having a barbecue at my house that I bought today or, uh, or going to a restaurant and you know having a big, long three, four hour lunch with all my friends and family. And, heading home and putting my kid to bed, telling him some ridiculous story that puts him right to sleep and, uh, and going to sleep myself. Favorite vacation spot right now, I would still have to say one of my favorite places, Mexico City. My wife's family's from there and to me, it's one of the best places to visit. I'm quite a foodie. You know, I like, uh, I love good wines. I love uh, traveling to new areas and whenever I travel to new countries, I try their cuisine. I can eat pretty much about anything, but I, you know, I make sure everything I put in my body is, uh, is of utmost health, which probably most people know, but I'm, a, I'm down to try anything, including camel toe and uh, horse hoof in Kazakhstan when we were traveling over there. You know, I don't have any superstitions, but I do have rituals. You know, I, I make sure every game day my standard super, or ritual is if it's in the morning, if it's afternoon, if it's at night, doesn't matter. Uh, 30 minutes before our team meeting when we head off to the game, I'll make sure I have myself a cup of coffee and espresso, hopefully, um, and read a newspaper or read the New York Times on, on, a, on a tablet or USA Today or something like that and just kind of not think about water polo. It kind of calms me and prepares me for the battle ahead. Favorite hobby? I would just, you know, traveling in general. I love traveling. I love, you know, trying new foods, cuisines, learning about cultures, learning new languages. I think uh, really, and hanging out with family and friends. You know, as a young kid growing up, I think that you, you stick to the standards, you have your coach, you go to your practices, but I think that you also have to put in perspective what's the rest of the world doing? You know, are you trying to be the best in your club or are you trying to be the best in the country? Are you trying to be the best in the world? And I think there's always a little more you can do. And I, I especially think that with the access that we have to games online and, and the internet and, and websites around the world now that get yourself online and try to watch as many games you can because you know, you can train and as hard as you can. You can be as strong and fast and tall and strong, but really what matters is, is what's up there in the head. You know, this Olympics is different for me. This is, uh, you know, this will be my fifth and then having it in Rio de Janeiro where I was born um, is something special for sure. First time playing in front of all of my family and for my country in my home, my, you know, my other hometown. And it's, uh, it's probably been one of the most more special Olympics.